Hey everyone, welcome back to the workshop. I've been rebuilding the Buick Wildcat transmission and um, I noticed there's a couple differences that I just wanted to do a quick video about. So the mid 60s Buick's uh, Cadillacs and I think some of the Oldsmobiles, they have basically the same TH400 that is in the Chevrolets, but the tail shaft housing bushing and seal are smaller. Uh, so I got a regular old TH, TH400 rebuild kit. Everything was good. You know, I had the plates and gaskets and all the seals. All that was fine. But when I went to replace the seal on the tail shaft housing and the bushing, as you can see, this bushing is a lot bigger. It doesn't even come close to fitting. And same with the seal. So these years, the bushing opening is smaller and the seal opening is smaller. Now, fortunately, there's a company that makes uh, kits for these, and they're out of California. Uh, this is not a promoted video or anything like that. I paid full price for the kit, but Classic Transmission, Classic Transmission Solutions, you know, they make the bushing for these smaller size tail shafts, and they have a nice kit that has the seal that fits, the tail shaft to transmission gasket, a couple other O-rings, I don't think I quite need, but they're there just in case. Everything in one kit is about $50. A little more than what you'd pay for just a regular bushing, but you know, it's an easier alternative. Um, one of the common swaps people do is they take the tail shaft housing off of a later TH400 or uh, one off of a Chevrolet and uh, put it onto their Buick uh, transmission. Uh, but when you do that, you got to also find a different drive shaft input yoke. Um, you know, you have to get the, the, the yoke from the drive shaft on that donor car, which again, you know, it's not impossible, but you know, I don't plan on scouring junkyards or looking for used transmissions and going through all that trouble. I don't have one handy that I can take, take apart. So this is a good, a good, uh, solution for me. So it's looking pretty good. And last thing I need to do is I need to stake this bushing, which I'll show in another video. I don't think it's going to be too tough. All right, till next time. Thank you.